Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm filming the 2021 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. Let's take a look underneath the hood here of the Nissan Titan. My tester has the 5.6 liter V8. It makes 400 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque. It's paired with a nine speed automatic. Nissan got rid of that old seven speed and replaced it with this nine speed automatic. Fuel economy is rated at 15 in the city, 20 on the highway and 17 combined. If you're looking to get better fuel economy, you guys should check out the other competition like the Ram, the Silverado, and also the Ford F-150 with a twin turbo V6. That's probably gonna be the best option if you go for the actual Ford F-150. But shedding the hood here of the Nissan Titan. My tester is painted in this black exterior color. My tester also has full LED headlights with an LED low beam and high beam with an LED daytime running light with an incandescent turn signal. You also get LED fault lights here on my tester. There's front parking sensors with these orange or red looking tow hooks, give or take. There's gonna be this skip plate here so you can take this thing off-roading. There's also a front facing camera here on my tester, your Nissan emblem front and center. There's your Pro 4X badge, which is there. Honestly, the, the Titan is a nice looking pickup truck. A lot of people say it looks like a Ford F-150. I can see that in some angles of this truck, but I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section. What do you think about the Nissan uh, Titan here? But looking at these wheels here, I actually like the black and silver finish here. These are a 275-70 with tire. They're wrapped in this 18-inch rim design. This looks like it's really made for off-roading. I like, like these grippier tires here. You probably take this thing on a dirt trail. There is these side steps, which is part of an actual package. There's your Titan badge here. I like the orange or red looking uh, font there. You can give or take whatever color it is to your liking. There's this LED sight marker here. My tester does have this panoramic sunroof for additional option. So it does, a lot of, it does let a lot of light into the actual cabin. The wheelbase for the Nissan Titan here, the 139.8 inches with an overall lift of 228.5. But making our way to the rear here of the Nissan Titan, this your Pro 4 X badge here. Looking at these tail lights, honestly, I'm a really big fan of the Nissan uh, tail light design here. It's gonna be an incandescent bulb with an LED brake light with an LED reverse light here, your Pro 4 X badge there, your Nissan emblem, a standard backup camera. Down here is going to be your your connectors for when you go towing and whatnot. You can tow around 9,000 pounds. Your tra trailer hitch receiver there. Where parking sensors and also does have this step here, just like on the Ram that I reviewed. Once you kick this from underneath the truck here, you can also step into the bed of the truck. This does have the five and a half foot bed. If you want to put this step back up, just kick it and it goes underneath the truck. Here's your Titan name, which is blacked out. So basically, if you didn't go for the SL trim, that kind of has like all the blinky chrome and whatnot. So if you don't like the chrome, I would just recommend getting the Pro 4X package. It's kind of like a chrome delete. There's these little uh, rails here. There's even a 400 watt household outlet back here. There's some tie down hooks back here. This does have a spray on bed. It's a part of an actual option. But let's hop into the interior of the Nissan Titan. I'm sitting inside the interior of the 2021 Nissan Titan. Looking at this interior here, it's a nice interior. It looks really different compared to the Chevy, the Ford, and also the Toyota Tundra. But shutting the door. Looking at my tester has these traditional gauges here to show your RPM, also your speedometer. You have this LCD display right here. You can cycle through it, uh, little tabs here. Show you a thing like your off-road page your driver's assistance, your fuel economy. This is rated to get 15 in the city, 20 on the highway, and 17 combined. Like I mentioned, you probably go for like a Ford F-150 if you're looking to have really good fuel economy, or maybe even the Silverado or the Ram uh, 1500. They're looking here, putting the Titan into reverse here. You have this good old column shifter. As you guys can see, it does have the uh, top down 360 view with trajectory, distance markers. You do get front and rear parking sensors pushing it down to drive here you can select your different gears as well this does have a nine speed automatic they got rid of that old seven speed uh transmission as you can see here these big knobs here are for the volume and tuning knob this is a nine inch display here as you can see the apple carplay is really clean it does have android auto going to the apple maps here nice bright resolution screen here as well like i mentioned the really snappy system going back to the nissan uh, head unit here it's really snappy as well. It tells you when the, uh, how the weather is looking, your digital clock there and whatnot. But really fast, snappy system. Your stability control here, parking sensors, hazard switch. This does have the Nissan shield. It does have things like foreclosure warning, blind spot monitoring, with rear cross traffic alert. 
So this pickup truck does have a lot of safety features in it. Down here is gonna be for your four-wheel drive system. This is a two, a two-wheel drive, a four-high. You can push in for a four-low. And it does have a push-button start. It's for your trailer brake control here. It does have three-level heated and cool seats. Unfortunately, there's no place to uh, charge your phone. There's no wireless charging pad. I'm surprised to see that at this actual price point here, but you do get really good value for the Titan. There's a heated steering wheel button here, a 12 volt. The materials here on part of the dashboard is gonna be a soft touch material. I think my tester is missing an actual heads of display. Maybe you get that in the other part of the uh, wall market with the Titan, but I think in America, I'm, I'm not too sure if you get a heads of display or not. The glove box here is damped, but it's not like we'll It's a pretty decent sized glove box. And above me, my tester does have this massive panoramic sun to a lot of light into this uh, cabin here. I like the red or orange looking stitching here. There's your Pro 4X badge, uh, actual embroidered to the actual seat rest. So the seats feel nice and comfortable here. You can uh, definitely go on a long road trip with these seats. Two cup holders here. You can also can remove these compartments if you would like to give you a little bit more storage. Ram has a big center console area here. The center console lid here is nice and padded. Open up this console here. Pretty decent amount of storage in here. There's a 12 volt as well. And above me, you can also open up that rear glass. And once you uh, slide, when you click this button up here, this is for the actual tilt function for the panoramic sunroof here. You can also close the shade with a click of a button here. There's a sunglass holder. Surprisingly, there's no actual rear view camera mirror on here. LED light throughout the whole entire cabin. The door panel material is gonna be a hard chest plastic. There is two person memory seat. Your headlight controls are gonna be here. Dimmer switches, which is here for the actual uh, cargo lamp and whatnot. You can also lock your rear differential and it does have a hill descent control there. And this is a power tilt telescoping wheel. It is one touch up, one touch down for the driver and passenger, your lock controls, your mirror controls as well. Like I mentioned, it does have blind spot monitoring. This nice uh, chrome door handle here. There's additional storage down here with cup holders, but let's hop into the back seat of the Nissan Titan. So to get into the back seat of the Nissan Titan, Nissan says you get around 38 inches of leg room. If you're looking for a lot of leg room, you have to go for the other competitors like the Chevy, the Ford, but Ram has the most leg room in the actual full ton truck with around 45.2 inches of leg room. So if that's a deal breaker for you, you will probably wouldn't want to put the Nissan Titan on your list. But getting back here, Nissan does give you these running boards with this grab handle. So short people like myself can horse this stuff up into this pickup truck. But once you're back here, shutting the door, door sounds nice and solid. The materials do continue from the front to the back. There's gonna be a hard touch plastic. There's this nice area here to rest your elbows, nice grab handle. Cup holders down here. This thing has actual four map pockets. This is my first time ever seeing four map pockets on the actual production pickup truck. There's gonna be two cup holders here with the Titan uh, name there. The rear air vents back here, a 12 volt, a US, two USB ports back here, a household outlet with heated seats. Surprisingly, there's no cool seats on this particular truck, but you do get cool seats in the front and passenger seating. The floor back here is uh, nice and flat. You can definitely fit three uh, people across. Pulling this armrest down here, you do get two cup holders and there's no storage. But lifting the seat up here, Nissan does give you this little uh, compartment uh, thing here. You can have a nice low floor. And also, once you fold that back, there's actual lockable storage just like the other competitors. With a, it's, fairly, it's a little shallow in here, but you can definitely put a couple work tools and whatnot underneath the seat. Pulling this down, you have to grab this little uh, lever here. The seat will just flop down. I'm five foot eight. I have somewhat of a decent amount of headroom because of this cutout of the panoramic summer. But this panoramic summer does let a lot of light into this actual cabin. But, but let's take the Nissan Titan out and see how it performs with that 5.6 liter V8. So picking up the driving scene here in the 2021 Nissan Titan Pro 4 X. Great visibility off the bat here. You have these big side mirrors here with blind spot monitoring. This does have Nissan uh, safety shield, which includes emergency braking with rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control. And this has that 5.6 liter V8, which put your foot to the floor here. I wanna say zero to 60, maybe in the six second range, six second range. So just like every everything else in this uh, uh, company, in this uh, segment here, like the Ford, the Ram, the Silverado, and also the Nissan, I mean the uh, Toyota Tundra. Honestly, I drove all the trucks in the uh, segment here. Like I mentioned, the Ram, the Chevy, the Toyota, and now I'm driving the Titan here. Honestly, the Titan is a really good value for the price that Nissan's asking for compared to a fully loaded Ram. That one can touch almost $80,000. My tester here is gonna be kind of like a sticker shock for how much value you get for the actual price 
great visibility. I like the nine inch uh, head unit here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. One thing I'm, one thing I don't like is just the steering wheel. I think the steering wheel is like, it looks 10 years old. It looks like they didn't put too much effort into uh, the steering wheel here, but really good driver's assistance, driver's assistance here. I wish the Nissan would change up the steering wheel. Um, give it something like how Chevy has it or maybe what Ram offers as well but the stern has a nice uh, grip to it nice leather I like the red or orange stitching give or take whatever color you guys see I see orange but most people will say that it's red but I like the stitching in here comfortable seats they're fuel level heated and cooled you get that on the Silverado as well the Ford also uh, the Ram so Nissan did some really uh, good things there with the actual cool seats. These seats, I feel like they're made for wider frame people. Like, of, of course, there's wider frame Americans, of course, so they're trying to uh, compete with the other competitors when it comes to uh, the seating uh, in here. But honestly, you can put your family in here, but if you're looking for the most legroom in the segment, you have to go for the Ram that offers 45.2 inches of legroom. So that's a lot of rear uh, legroom back there. But it offers 38 inches of legroom, like I mentioned. It's really good legroom. So you don't have to worry about um, having your family crunch up in the actual back seat. You take this thing on a long road trip, camping, or even uh, boating. You can tow around 9,000 pounds with the Titan uh, Pro 4X here, which is really good. The other competitors uh, tow as much as uh, 10,000 plus pounds. Ford is the king when it comes to actual towing numbers. You can tow with the newer Ford F-150 around 14,000 pounds. And I drove, like I mentioned, all the pickup trucks in the segment. I actually like that new power boost uh, engine that Ford has. That makes 430 horsepower and 570 pound feet of torque. So if you're looking for something a little fast, a little faster in this actual in the segment here, I would recommend going for the Ford that, that has a power boost. So it's an electric uh, motor uh, sandwich between the transmission. So that's really good. So Nissan only offers one powertrain, which is this 5.6 liter. They got rid of the old diesel engine and they also got rid of that seven speed uh, transmission that they used to offer. Now this has a nine speed automatic. So that the nine speed always knows what uh, gear to be in is really good with the actual uh, powertrain here. So Nissan did a really good job when they uh, put the nine speed in the Titan here. And honestly, this truck doesn't feel big being honest it doesn't drive car like it drives like a ford f-150 to me it feels heavy but at the same time it does feel light on its feet it makes 400 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque and it's paired to nine speed automatic like i mentioned fuel economy really quick is rated at 15 in the city 20 on the highway and 17 combined premium gas is re uh, is required but you can put regular gas but you won't get the actual uh, peak performance uh with the 400 horsepower if you use regular gas once you put your foot down here. The nine speed automatic, it knows what gear to be in. It's really fast to shift. Um, talking about transmission, like I mentioned, this has a nine speed. GM offers, GM and Ford offers a 10 speed automatic. So this has one less gear compared to GM. And then the Ram offers a eight speed automatic. So this has one more gear compared to the Ram. So if you're looking for that in-between uh, transmission, this, the nine speed is really good. Like I mentioned, it's good. It's paired with this 5.6 liter. But honestly, yeah, the Titan is a really good pickup truck. And honestly, I'm really surprised um, how well it drives. The suspension feels good. The, the chassis feels good as well. Uh, I don't hear too much uh, wind noise. It's, it's a little windy today, but the wind noise does not intrude into the cabin. And above me, there's this massive panoramic sunroof. So it does let a lot of light into this actual cabin here. So just in case you wanted to see the stars at night or you want to see the sun during the daytime, this panoramic sun is the best option. So at the spend time with the 2021 Nissan Titan, my Tesla is surprisingly good and it also has really good value for its price. So I'm going to say Nissan Titan cost. Sighting price of my Tesla is at 58000 280 bucks. My tester has some optional equipment which rolls in the panoramic sunroof, the off-road package, and also the convenience package. My tester includes destination, has an ass tester price at 61,380 bucks. I'd like to give a special thanks to H. Greg Nissan for providing with the 2021 Nissan Titan. If you're in the market for a Nissan Titan, you can come to H. Greg Nissan and ask for the marketing agent Gabby. I hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the 2021 Nissan Titan. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews. And please keep subscribing to the channel. I catch you all in the next video.